me again. Hank the cow dog. I had given Drover the night off, so by the time I came dragging in, he was all fresh and ready to go exploring or some such foolishness. He asked if I wanted to go with him. It's me again, Casey Claiborne. Born and raised in Jacksonville, Texas, I grew up reading the hilarious adventures of Hank the Cowdog. As a new dad, I'm passing that appreciation for Hank, the head of ranch security, and his trusty sidekick Drover onto the next generation. I brought out uh, the first Hank book in 1983. I had gotten so many rejection slips as an aspiring novelist that I didn't even send that first Hank book out to a publisher. I just uh, borrowed $2,000 from a banker and decided that I would be a publishing company. The man behind Hank the Cowdog, Texas native John R. Erickson. Erickson says when he started writing the Hank books, kids weren't the target audience. He was aiming for adults in the agricultural community. I started getting calls from elementary school librarians and teachers asking if I could do programs. Erickson just didn't think kids would get the humor. Those stories are narrated by a dog who, who lies half the time and he doesn't know what he's talking about the other half. But Erickson says teachers were telling him kids were bringing Hank's Texas Panhandle cattle ranch adventures to school, reading them on the playground and laughing. Honest, organic humor, innocent humor, which is really hard to find. It was hard to find back in the 80s and it's even harder to find now. The rest is Hank history. We've sold 10 million Hank books over the years. The series has gotten up to 75. We just brought out the 75th book. What's your name? Puddin' Tame. Ask me again and I'll tell you the same. I do all the voices myself, write songs for them, and they've been translated into six languages, including Chinese and Farsi, which is the language of Iran. Nearly four decades after the first Hank the Cowdog book, Hank is trotting into new frontiers with a star-studded podcast, featuring none other than Mr. Austin, Texas himself, Matthew McConaughey is the voice of Hank the Cowdog. Since Erickson has been doing Hank's voice for decades, even he thought it would be rough to let someone else take the reins. I wasn't sure how possessive I would feel about somebody else doing my stories, but I've been very pleased with it. Uh, McConaughey is, he's a real professional. But Erickson does make an appearance, thanks to director and screenwriter Jeff Nichols, the man behind the podcast. Jeff was kind enough to give me a part of Wallace the Buzzard, I plan to be sound asleep when the mailman comes by. You get your little self up there by the mailbox and give him a good barking. You got that? This book is on my son's bookshelf. Going to start reading it to him. Do you have any tips for me as I read him the books and do the voices? I'd say don't be afraid to do the voices because you have just as many qualifications as I do. I've never taken a course in acting. I'm, I'm not qualified to do audio books or to to write songs or to play the banjo or to sing. I'm an amateur in all of those things. And yet I do it and people put their kids to sleep at night with them and they uh, listen to them when they're on family trips. So just have fun with it, that's all. Well, thank you, sir. If you ever need a sheep or a chicken or something, I'm your man. <laughs> <laughs>